welcome back to Banner Saga. Let's talk with him first. Right off the bat. You knew him well, didn't you? Faulkner? No. Well, I don't know. I remember him. Always rushing around with some important business, but I knew, never knew him. Never got a chance to talk much. Longer than I did, in any case. I suppose so. When he spoke, Varl listened. I knew that. I could use help there. The scrivener leans back, considering the sentiment. I've seen wars. They respect you for your ability to swing an axe. They need to respect you for your actions. But you're not talking to the right Varl. Morgor's got some skill there. Most I can do is hold a quill. Consider what to say next. I heard you were a terror in your day. Do you know how old I am? Dare I ask? I'm competing, you know. Nobody knows how old we Varl can get, actually. There's one by the name of Snorri. He's got a few years on me. Just hungers in Grofheim, collecting rhyme. Bastard may actually beat me. Another one named Kromer is close, I think. But the adult son of a bitch still welcomes a fight. He'll probably be off before I am old. Although... The scrivener gestures around him as if to remind you of the current situation. You chuckle. Anyway, point is, what difference does it make? I'm just a del delivery baron for your room now. I can't remember half what I've done. Hence the journal. Hence? Get fancy on my behalf, I can. Okay, I won't. What are you always putting down in the journal then? How do you mean? What do we write? I, I write what happens. They've got a banner in Aberang for that, you know. You mean the long banner? Yes, the Menders wove up something that writes its own history. You want my opinion? I don't trust it. No? It tells a broad story. I think there's some value in the narrow. Whose story does it write? Mine? Theirs? Ludin's? Gods forbid. <laughs> you relic. The gods have been dead a long time. Oh, have they? Old habits, I suppose. What do you suppose happened to the sun? Gods, how should I know? Never seen something like this before. Are you worried? Some of the Varl in the caravan think the world's coming to an end. Others think it's the best thing that could happen. No more black months. I'll take it. If it's the end, I'm ready. What about the rest of us? To the depths of you. <laughs> Get some rest. Always more marching to do. I've hoofed more hills than a horse born with a grudge. Don't worry about me. Okay, and what about you? I would ask how you're dealing with Vogner's death, but I already know the answer. Do you? Steady old Mogur, which is good. I know most of these Varl, but they are not under my command. They came to follow Vogner. Tell you the truth? I wouldn't want to be in your position either. Anything you can tell me about the caravan? Throw together this many Varl, half of them want to hit each other, the rest want to be left alone. Anyone I should keep an eye on? There's a couple of clan leaders trying to show off for each other. Not a big deal, I've got it under control. The fighters just got f from strand aren't bad, but they're unruly. Give it a few days. And there are a few moaning about fighting for you instead of Vogner. Those are the ones to worry about. What about Lin's men? They don't want to hear anything from me, I know that. Any problems? Could be. Lulin's pet Varl is named Bercy. I'm not sure where he came from or what his deal is. Bastard knows how to fight, but there's something I don't like about him. His girl in red is scary too, Irsa. She's probably the best fighter Lulin's got, to be honest. I've overheard some the Varl call her the witch. Why? The flaming arrows, I think. It's a good trick, but the fire upsets our Varl more than the dredge. Still doesn't make much sense. Which? 
They're not scholars, Haken. I think they're mostly just afraid of her. That makes more sense. Don't let her find out. Haven't you ever wanted to be in command? More than I am? Any more rope and I'll hang myself. I doubt that. I forget, you weren't around back then. At one point I had more rope. I hung myself. So no, I'm not interested in command. It's all yours. Thanks. You think we're walking into a death trap? This many vowel? No, we should be alright. Things could get rough though. I don't like being the one to send Varl to the deaths, I like worrying about myself, and that's the extent of, extent of it. Who would have expected Vognir to drop like that to a couple of slag? I'm still wondering what happened. He had hundreds of dead slag to his name. I don't get it. Just happens sometimes. No big moment. I'm sure it surprised him even more than us. Although I have to wonder. Nah, never mind. Anyway, I worry about the warriors. You worry about not doing something stupid. That's asking a lot. What were you holding back about Vogner? I'd rather not say, Haken. Why not? It's the kind of thing that gets stuck in your head and you need a clear one. It's better if you let me worry about it. If you say so, keep it to yourself. No, tell me. How did Vogner die? He ran into the dredge, wasn't expecting it. When he found him, he was laying face down, like he was struck from behind. Did he really get taken down by some random slag? Who else was there? You think Ludin? He probably didn't, but... Damn it! We should keep an eye on the bastard. If you see anything else, tell me. I will. Let's go back to it. Let me know if you need anything else. I will. Okay, so I guess the only- Ooh, I can zoom in. That's nice. Oh, the only thing left is leaving. Wait, let's see. We weren't fighting if I eat. No, we actually have one, someone to promote, so let's do that. Mm, you know what? Let's give him one for this and one for health. Since, because since strength and health is the same, we really need to rethink a way to distribute those points. Look at that, says Mogur. In the hills, more dredged. No more than a dozen, though. We could just as easily pass by as rush up there to slaughter them. Ludin overhears. That's a dozen dredge heading towards Strand, he says. You ask him when he started to care about Stra Strand. I don't, he replies. I thought you did. Hmm. We'll deal with it ourselves, then. The caravan stops and waits while you lead a small detachment up the hillside to take care of the dredge quickly, with Ludin to stay by the caravan. He folds his arms uh, and mutters something about being treated like a child, which he is. Oh, Eric. We... Okay, but he has killed someone as well. And let's do it the same way. Health and... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Ready. Oh. Uh, I think he'll be better up here. <laughs> can do six and four. Yeah, we'll go over here. But yeah, let's move to this this side. Which one is this? This is the one. You can move. Uh, like, come on! Thank you. And it's gonna beat. I'm tr. Oh, right. 
You as well. Everyone go up there. Okay, that's good actually. And. Okay, uh, I think it, we can do this. And probably, no, not really. Up to four, okay. Okay, don't you have sounding impact? Added strength and armor to damage target and adjacent, adjacent enemy. Nope, this one. That was powerful. And actually, I think we can do this with six. Why? Yeah, I want him. I want him to have some as well. This one's next, so. Take a kill. Five. Yeah, we will move off here. And he's promoted. Oh no, he's gonna get hit. Yep. Not that much though. Which is good. Good, good, good. But he probably won't get any kills. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I can get there in time. Well, maybe we can stage something or not. Mm, let's help him. Well, they are not doing too much of a damage. Then it should have gone for the armor. Those guys are tough. <laughs> like, really tough. And I'm glad I took the additional armor. Okay, he's promoted. And you can take this skill. You know what, you're gonna rest and I'll let him take the kill. I know he's been promoted, but... No. Let's just do it for him. Warhawk. Okay, Hakem is ready for promotion. Gunolf is ready for promotion. And that's... We actually earned some renown. One promotion. This. Haken. No. Haken. You can hear Ludin's hard booted trot as you set up camp the first day and brace yourself. Can we speak? As equals? We can try. It seems clear to me you plan to kill a lot of dredge along the way. Am I right? You're not wrong. Then listen carefully. Don't assume only the Varl can fight, do you understand me? That is my banner will fly to Grofheim, the banner of Arborang. I insist on joining in battle. Almost got it in your first encounter and ready for more? Whatever you like, prince. And I expected more resistance. From Vognir, maybe. They tell me you were his kinder, that's why you're in charge now. Some sort of next of kin? Var thing? Don't you take on his responsibilities? Da in my own way. Then stop acting like I'm a foreign in the side. When you're nearly 200 years, it's hard to take a 20 year old man. Is that right? Seriously. You better start. We'll both be kings someday. That's the last thing I need to think about right now. Lily looks at you as though you just punched yourself in the face. Uh, he heads back to his tent before saying whatever was on his mind. 
Hey, yes, Tyler. On exertion. You've gotten some characters with high exertion. Don't overlook this important stat. Exertion lets you add more willpower to your actions. Want to add more than one star to your attack? Upgrading to free exertion lets you add free damage to every attack or move three spaces further than usual if you've got the willpower for it. Remember, each stat is equally important in combat. Choose wisely. So I guess this is the witch. This is the Varl. Moon's Varl. There's no market? Okay, so let's... I know, let's upgrade Gandalf. Yep. I will add some armor for him because he lacks. And I can feel it. Okay. And you... Oh yeah, I get, you're fine. I'll give you more this and that. Okay, so let's talk to the witch first. Irsa, right? She watches you approach with her head tilted back and points a thumb towards Lulin's stand. No, you for you. Oh, can we talk? Irsa shakes her head. No, a smile on her lips, eyelids low. Why not? I don't. In those two curiously contradictory words, you get two impressions. She has a beautiful obsidian voice. How do you voice obsidian? Okay, and this might be a complete waste of time. She watches you expectantly. You don't talk? No. You do, though. I don't. Hmm, I, I don't know. She smiles warmly, clearly enjoying her game. It's about the flaming arrows. She raises an eyebrow. Varl and fire don't get along. All you get is a shrug. If you're going to use them, she pulls an arrow, does a flick of the wrist and you don't quite catch. Suddenly a bird combusts in the tree behind you and falls to the ground, smoldering. Half the camp has turned to watch. Don't tell me not to. You lose his bodyguard? No, he's mine. Before you have the chance to be confused, she cackles, abrupt and loud, and looks slightly embarrassed. You are his personal guard, though her expression changes to, of course. How did you end up with someone like Ludin? Luck. Well, this has been fun. She crosses her arms, a hand on her chin, and cocks her head to one side. Until next time, Ursa. Hey, come. You stop and look over your shoulder. I am a witch, so be careful. She pulls her forefinger to her lips with a soft shh. You depart, not quite sure what to make of that. You have a moment? As you approach Bercy, he lowers the book he was reading. He doesn't strike you as the book reading type. You're Bercy. You're Hagen. You've gotten that out of the way, haven't we? I had some questions. Say what you want to say. What's a Varl doing working for Ludin? What's a Varl doing working for another Varl? What difference does it make? It looks like you're in charge right now, so do me a favor and don't get, don't get Ludin killed. Is it important to you? No, but that's one way to put it. Where'd you learn to fight? Same as you, by fighting. You know what I mean? I robbed well-protected merchants for at least one man's lifetime. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Not anymore? I've had a lot of jobs. Can I trust you? What a loaded question. Depends what you mean. Whose back will you have if things go wrong? Assume I'm looking out for myself and you'll figure it out. Does Ludin understand that? Ludin doesn't even understand that half his army is here just to protect him from the people he talks to. You laugh at the unexpected gauge, Percy Green's pleased with himself. I won't keep you any longer. See you on the battlefield, oh leader of war. You could join us. I'm where I want to be. Don't forget what I said about keeping Ludin alive. Got it? As you step away, you can't help but wonder if there was a bit of threat behind that 
gravely request. Okay, we are well rested, so we can leave. We've done everything that was to be done. You overhear a conversation while marching alongside the warriors. I'm happy to storm some slag as much as the next Val, but I didn't join up to take orders from Haken, says one. Apparently he doesn't realize you're with an earshot. Not willing to die for him either. Make your presence known, but walk on. Not sure Vogni would have been happy to hear that, you growl loudly. The Val flinches as you walk past before looking his direction. In the distance you can hear his friend laughing at his misfortune. Serves him right. A small gathering of tents come into view, a group of merchants from the look of it. You ask what they're doing here. We're camped out at the godstone ahead, one tells you, leaving an offering for Dangle, as one does. His passion turns, wedge start appearing out of nowhere, some of a state. Though the godstone would be safe, but damned if I know why. We've been dodging them since we left. Um, I show them the way to Strong is clear and see them off. They thank you profusely. Most stops as he passes. If you're passing by Dangle, do me a favor. My wife's brother stayed behind. You'll know him by a necklace, necklace with many rings on it. If you see him, say we are safely in Strand. You nod. After a short time, then continue on. Can I take a sup, a sip of tea, please? No, no. The caravan slows unexpectedly, words, words travel down the line and, the, and then to Mogur who tells you, Dredge, no, we're coming, probably saw us back at Vertfell and did their usual rooking. Could have been bad if we'd plodded into them, but we saw them first. Dredge watch you, waiting to see what you do. When, when's the last time you commanded a few hundred, Haken? asks Morg. Don't overthink it, the warriors can take care of themselves. War. When you come across more enemies than your party can handle, you will engage in war. Give your army orders to fit the situation, but be prepared to get your own hands dirty too. By making battle easier for yourself, you will end up with higher casualties. Uh, or you can take burden on yourself with a harder battle, but save more lives. If you're ever desperately outnumbered, it may be best to run, avoiding battle completely. Dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn, a fight seems inevitable. You take a quick head count, there must be at least 505 of them. You have 185 fighters and 666 Varl at your side. Even from here you can see nervous glances amidst the enemy ranks. This looks like a good chance to press your advantage. Press so charge? Charge! You consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge, battering down the enemy. It will throw you into the thick of battle where fighting is most dangerous, but a strong charge can save lives. Okay, let's see. Okay, formations. You start comparing weaknesses and strengths, taking into account terrain, morale, and the look of your enemy. If you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. balanced. Yeah, let's try that. You start rallying your forces and gather your allies to you, preparing to enter the fray. And a bit of tea. And I'm actually pretty content with that, although I would take someone else, the archer. Uh, okay, let's see how we do it with this comb. Okay, we see five dredge so far. I'm pretty content with where she is, although I would rather have people uh, stuck like this. And I would like to swap them. Okay, I can just swap them like this because they 
Uh, yeah, there's two of them, so I'm fairly sure they will go for him. So I might, after all, give one person to him. Okay, let's... I'm sorry. <laughs> let's try that. Okay, he didn't make it. I'm, I'm actually glad he didn't make it. Uh, let's go for his armor first. Although doing free damage is pretty a lot. Kinda. I, you know, okay, just kill him already. I wanted to give something to loot in, but oh my god, that's a lot. Okay, you go over here. Probably. Oh, we can give him one little power, I guess. Ooh, he, this one's tough as well. Well, he can do 5 damage to him. Or even more. Wait, let's see, we can do 7. Okay. He is scary. But she can snipe him. Slug and burn traps on area, laying down calls with the one strength of damage. Having two calls started. Okay, he'll take. Okay. Okay, I understand. Yes, I see it. Yeah, it's his move, right? Yep. So, you know what? Sundering impact. Uh, well, it's better than my other option. He'll probably. Oh no, it's this one. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, should have. Yep, that was bad. I want you to kill him, or I want you to get his armor down. Good, good. Keep. Uh, no causes, no bug, and bleed. Okay. Uh, well, it. Did. Okay, I'm fairly sure I'm playing on normal, so... Slug, I find slug and burn a very nice skill, so I'm gonna use it. Ah, of course, he's not gonna go into that. Okay, this is nearly his whole strength, uh, his whole armor. This. I, I don't want you to take any kill. Well, actually, you know what? Kill him. <laughs> oh, I'm glad he wasn't able to get to this guy. Well, yeah, really, they don't. They, they just let him wander around. Oh no, he's dead. Or not. He's going for him. They really don't like the move. Oh, finally his first kill. And I need to move him back a bit. Yeah, they really hate him. For some reason. And can you kill anything? Not really. All you can do is try getting his armor down. And he's down. They really hate him for some reason. And he's gonna fall. Uh, just kill him. No, he won't. Oh no, that's actually good. I want those two to kill. Level up. Yeah. Oh, 
That was horrible. You take a moment to survey the battlefield, the enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. You could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge would rally your fighters and save a few lives. You won't have time to rest or char change your party, but the chance to loot your enemies might even reveal items they took from previous victims. Now we have five, no, we no, no, pull back. The dread give you a white breath and scatter into the distance. Hmm. Well, it was too big of a risk. I already had two and down, so I don't think it would be wise to push forward. Ludin has been sending scouts ahead, quicker and more nimble than your Varl. One rushes back just as you cross the hilltop out of breath. Dredge! The direction you over him, he overhear him tell Ludin. About a day away, they found a village. You ask what they're doing? Tearing the place apart, says. Maybe a thousand of them or more, looking for gods know what. This will be a bigger fight than usual. Ludin is uncharacteristically silent, waiting to see what you say. Draw some of them forward and split them. Yeah. You send a small group of shield bangers to get their attention. They do. Half a day later, many dredge are giving chase up the hill in the plodding sort of way. Get ready to lay waste. There must be 470 of them. Well, let's charge. No, no, no. We actually need to do this by formations. Because we have two guys that are hurt! And... him. No, 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 promote him, promote him. He's like useless a bit. Gonna take a lot of health. Minus... F minus three! Have well, they are pretty much equal, but he has this green thingy. So instead, yep, we'll swap it like this. Oh well, we'll see. That is actually horrifying, so we'll go... God damn it, I don't want him. I don't want anyone to be close to him. Um, let's take all the people over here. Uh, 8, 10, yeah, I think we'll do something like this, 9, 9, okay. And we'll start right off by getting most of his health down. You can do a... F You're actually pretty much safe over here. But you'll stand here. Him. Good. Okay, you cannot kill, well, you cannot hit him. So I'll put you somewhere just out of the way, really. Uh, you, you can hit him, actually. You can actually hit him. Should have destroyed his armor first. Okay, okay. Do your thing. Okay. What's your skill with sundering impact? Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Do you? Okay, okay! What's your skill? Bring the pain, brace the enemy, and punch the... Yep. Bring the pain. Oh, 
seriously, I blocked him. Tempest. No, you wait. You help. Yeah, help him. Okay, who is it now? It's Ludin. And I think I want Ludin out of there, though he will be... Oh, he can go over here and hit this guy. He can can oh he can't hit Luden, he doesn't has to move. Uh, again. Well it's always nice. It is it does five damage total, so yeah, it is nice. This is where I wanted you guys. Ah. Okay, he is no threat. Let's start getting rid of him. Really? How is it possible that. Okay. Bleed out slowly. Actually, we can kill him. Ah, not quite. I'm going to help with this one. And we are pretty much safe. I think we can take on another wave of this this time. You only have the yep. Okay. Man. Good. I think I'll Okay. You take him out to survive the battlefield, the enemy is being pushed back, yes. Uh, kill a few more. You attack any village still brave enough to face you. God damn it, why? Why did they take the? F did they get the first turn? Bring the pain. Okay, does dealt free damage. I may have made a mistake. Uh, yeah. I'm glad he has <laughs> lots of armor. All things considered. Okay, we can do the Tempest. He's fine. Better than <laughs> taken. Three. Get rid of his armor. I forgot we have this full. Can you use it? Nope. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Cancel, I want to use some. Oh, it's Soundering Impact, not Tempest. Mm. Yeah, it moves. Just get rid of his armor. This one I don't care about. And twice, just getting rid of his layers. Oh, kill him because it's, it's exactly five health. Oh. 
Okay. You'll go over there because nah, it's not really. No. No, only one can be used. You take care of his armor. No, I couldn't have given him that. So we've lost like, what? One? No, two, I think. Let a flask. Oh, nice. And that's nearly twice as renowned. Okay, that's gonna be a very good place to stop. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!